Hey there, clever gang. Yeah! Buckle up for a roller coaster ride into the quest to discover your unique personality or whatever. We're peeling back the layers of your existential onion. One cringeworthy childhood memory at a time. Let's embark on this wild goose chase to unearth the eccentricities that supposedly make you stand out from your equally confused peers. Remember the glory days? You, a caped crusader of the sandbox, ruling over ants and action figures with an iron fist, fueled by nothing but sugary cereal and Saturday morning cartoons. Ah, uh, the simplicity of choosing between chocolate or vanilla, back when your biggest existential crisis was losing your favorite toy. We will dig up those good old days and question why we left them behind for the thrilling world of tax oh, returns yeah. and cholesterol checks. Why do we trade in our Technicolor dreams for 50 shades of beige as we age? When did we decide that a thrilling personality was the equivalent of boasting about our gluten intolerance? Time to dismantle the adult conspiracy that equates maturity with monotony. Let's sprinkle some of that childhood chaos into our grown-up lives. Because, let's face it, adulting is a scam. Why not concoct your persona like you're mixing a chaotic cocktail of Lego bricks without regard for the instructions or the final outcome. We're crafting a masterpiece of messiness <laughs> based on your peculiar passions and those weird talents you only show off after two drinks. You'll be as unique and misunderstood as a modern art piece in a museum. Embarking on this adventure is akin to entering a supposedly haunted house, anticlimactic and filled with cheap thrills. The real spook is navigating the convoluted labyrinth of your personality, oh only to find it's just a God. mirror maze of your weirdest faces. Back in the day, our quirky hobbies were our badges of honor. Now they're just embarrassing anecdotes we share at parties for a laugh. As adults, we're about as distinguishable as grains of sand on a depressingly bland beach. Time to excavate those long-buried interests and wave them like the freak flags they are. Googling how to be interesting only leads down a rabbit hole of self-help gurus and listicles promising enlightenment for the low, low price of your soul, or just your email address. Spoiler alert, you can't Amazon Prime your way to a personality. It's more like slow cooking a gourmet dish with the ingredients of your life experiences, seasoned with your unique flair. Enter the spike method, or as I like to call it, how to be a cactus in a field of weeds. It's about obsessing over your niche until it becomes impossible to ignore you. This is your ticket from being painfully average to mildly intriguing, enticing others to marvel at the oddity that is you. Armed with this newfound delusion of grandeur, you're now ready to unveil the circus show that is your personality. Transform every hi how are you into a Sit down, let me tell you about the time I, uh, turn daily drudgery into an episodic saga of your magnificent adventures, or misadventures. So, my clever cohort of chaos, armed with tales of daring and decency, and the blueprints to our bewildering beings, let's take the world by storm, or at least make someone chuckle at our attempts, until our paths cross again in the unpredictable journey of life. Keep exploring, laughing, and above all, being unapologetically, unmistakably, uncomfortably you.